Hello viewers, I am Dr. Rahul Reddy from Androcare Andrology Institute. In this video, we will discuss about various types of circumcisions which are available, which are commonly being done. So, circumcision is a surgery which is, uh, which is done for tight foreskin. If somebody has tight foreskin uh, on the penis or somebody uh, is having a problem in pulling back the foreskin, then we do circumcision surgery. Uh, some religions it is being done as a, for, as a for religious cause, but some people, adults, uh, because of infections, recurrent infections or uh, problems with uh, premature ejaculation or problems with pain in the penis during intercourse, we do circumcision surgery. So now what happens with circumcision surgery is, we generally cut the uh, foreskin, the tip of the, uh, the extra skin which is on the foreskin and then after that it looks like a uh, circumcised penis. So now what happens when you do circumcision surgery is, sometimes it loses its sensitivity, the tip of the uh, penis loses its sensitivity which is actually useful for people with premature ejaculation. And people with recurrent infections are immediately after intercourse, some people will get small cuts and tears in the tip of the penis, even they need circumcision procedure. So now what are the common types of procedures which are available? And the most common myth in many people is uh, circumcision is a very painful surgery, but actually it is not. Only the uh, olden method the open circumcision method what we used to do before was really painful. Now most of the circumcision techniques, uh, recently available techniques, they are mainly painless. The only problem you face with these methods is sensitive glands. Now see the tip of the penis is highly sensitive. If it is inside for many years, so since it is covered with the uh, foreskin, it's always sensitive. Once you do the surgery, then this tip is exposed. So that gives a kind of weird feeling or a sensitive, too much sensitive feeling. So that is one we have to face for first couple of days. So there is a technique for that. We will put you on a local anesthetic cream which has to be applied after the surgery uh, to desensitize the tip of the penis. So coming to types of circumcisions, we have laser circumcision, we have cosmetic circumcision and third one is uh, stapler circumcision and fourth one without circumcision, uh, those who want to retain their uh, foreskin, we can do a surgery called prepugioplasty, so where, where we can actually uh, preserve their foreskin. But this prepugioplasty surgery uh, may not be suitable for people with infections only for people with tight foreskin, prepugioplasty will help. So now what happens in these surgeries is, one in stapler circumcision which is latest nowadays, it is a 5 minutes, we call it as 5 minutes circumcision. We just use a device uh, called stapler and it is like our regular uh, stapler what you use for stapling and there are pins which are already embedded in a uh, silicon ring. The moment you apply this, it cuts the foreskin and uh, it applies the pins. So there is no need for suturing in this uh, technique and it is a 5 minutes technique, it is very simple. We just have to apply some uh, anesthetic cream on the penis and most commonly this is done under local anesthesia. We just give local anesthesia to the tip of the penis and we do this procedure. In 5 minutes you are out of uh, operation theatre. After 15-20 uh, minutes, you can actually walk back. So now there is no need for rest uh, in this uh, stapler circumcision. But what uh, only thing you have to be careful about the sensitivity part. As we said, you have to regularly uh, apply the desensitizing cream for cu first couple of days after this stapler circumcision. And uh, these staples will fall away after 10 to 14 days and we do not have to remove them, but rarely 1 in 50 patients we might have to remove those pins because 
they get uh, struck with the skin that is a rare phenomenon but you get very good excellent uh, cosmetic appearance with stapler circumcision because you get, you don't see a big wound it's, you see a small line uh, compared to open circumcision so open circumcision it's a crude method we cut the foreskin with the scissors so that always there are too many uh, uh, suture marks and the cut end is always irregular so now uh, compared to stapler surgery the other method what we regularly do is uh, either laser surgery or cosmetic circumcision so the difference between these two is in laser uh, circumcision for cutting we use instead of using a knife we use a laser so advantage with laser is uh, you see basically whether you cut or use a laser it is after giving anesthesia only so after anesthesia this is actually useful for the surgeon. What happens is when we cut the uh, foreskin, the small bleeders uh, which keeps uh, leaking blood, generally with laser circumcision that is very less and the cut is always in a straight line. And even with cosmetic circumcision, it is like a plastic surgery. First we design where to, uh, where we plan where to cut and after cutting we suture them with very, very fine suture material again it takes around uh, 8 to 10 days for these uh, suture uh, sutures to fall off we don't have to remove those sutures so now which one you have to choose whether laser uh, cosmetic circumcision or stapler circumcision so if you uh, only uh, difference between these two procedures is the timing cosmetic circumcision will take around 40 45 minutes stapler circumcision will take only 5 minutes uh, cosmetic appearance after the surgery after a couple of days is similar for both uh, you don't see stitch marks in both of them but what happens is when there is infection it's better to do cosmetic circumcision if there is no infection then stapler circumcision is better but apart from these two things there is a new technique we call it as prepugioplasty with uh, friendoplasty here we don't even cut the foreskin we only repair or actually loosen the uh, it's a technique to loosen the foreskin so now here if you want your foreskin to be retained then prepugioplasty plus friendoplasty is ideal uh, way to uh, have a natural look in other two procedures you may not have a natural look you people will uh, know the moment you see you know that you have been circumcised so now, uh, pain-wise, prepugioplasty is much uh, simple, painless. You don't need dressing. But if you go with uh, stapler circumcision or cosmetic circumcision, you may need dressing for a couple of days. And initially, some amount of swelling, edema may be there. But with prepugioplasty, you may not have any uh, edema. So, viewers, if you have any doubts regarding these procedures, uh, please post it in the comment section. We will try to answer them. Thank you.